everybody, Nick from East Coast Fiberglass here and welcome to the first in a new series of videos in which we're going to try and repair this old Broom Saturn speedboat which we've just picked up on eBay for a couple hundred quid. Uh, the first thing we're going to repair is uh, the base of the boat um, inside and specifically these platforms where the seats would have been. So we're going to refiberglass this whole area. First of all, we're going to put some wooden uh, marine ply reinforcements onto these two plinths. So uh, here's Rowan, and Rowan, first of all, is uh, sanding the area where we're going to fit the, the wood onto. He's just using a, a quite a coarse sandpaper there, and that will uh, just roughen up the old fiberglass a bit and, and give us a bit of a key for the free fix which we're going to use to attach the, the wooden reinforcements. So, once we've sanded the area, next we're going to just give those a quick wipe with some acetone. And that'll just remove any grease and uh, contaminants from the area. And give us a better basis for uh, the prefix to go on to. Again, it's really just a quick wipe. We're not trying to clean the area. We're just removing the grease and any dust and stuff that might impede the bonding process. So here we are with our two uh, wooden marine ply reinforcements that we've prepared earlier. You can probably see that they've rounded the edges. Fiberglass matting won't uh, conform very well to sharp edges, so... Uh, there's a bit of a contour there. Now we're going to show two ways of um, bonding these with the free fix. The first method, Rowan, is just scoring the marine ply there. And this is what we're going to use to bond the wood onto the fiberglass. This is our free fix compound. And we're going to use these handy little mixing boards that we've just got in. Now the usual ratio of... Um, Freefix to hardener that we use is a golf ball sized amount of freefix to a pea sized amount of hardener. Now, Rowan here has been using this stuff for 20 odd years, so uh, you'll see he kind of just knows how much to use. The next step is to mix the hardener thoroughly into the prefix compound. And uh, once that's activated, that will give you a working time of a couple of minutes probably, and it'll probably be pretty much have gone off by about the three minute mark. So uh, get it mixed and get it onto the job and get it in place as quick as you can really. Once you've got all that hardener mixed in well, then uh, spread it out to cover the entire area. You want to spread it evenly and avoid getting any air trapped in there as far as possible. Once that's all applied and spread evenly onto the surface, we just apply it to the area where it's going and press as, as firmly as possible really. And uh, Rowan's now just uh, scraping away any excess that's uh, been forced out. As we said, for the second uh, piece of wood, we've drilled through a series of randomly placed holes and the free fix will just uh, squidge up through there and give a good firm bond. And uh, this time Rowan is using these great little rhino mixing boards. Uh, it's a specially coated paper mixing board that you do your mixing on. Great for any small jobs. Probably jobs a bit smaller than this to be honest. Um, they can just, you just then tear away the sheet and throw that away and then you've got a new mixing surface for your next batch. A great little tool.
and once again we just spread that out nice and evenly hoping to avoid entrapping any air and once again once that evenly spread just affix that to the surface nice and firmly with a bit of pressure you can see there the free fixes been forced upwards through some of the holes but not all and so what Rowan's going to do is just uh, mix a little bit more free fix up and backfill those holes and once this area is completely cured those any rough edges can be just sanded off and that's it our two marine ply reinforced seat area base plinth things are in position and the next job will be to fiberglass over the top of those hope you enjoyed the first in this uh, little series of videos and uh, keep watching for the next one bye for now <laughs>